the place to be is British Columbia and the mountains are the best mountains for riding. When I first moved to Canada, I lived in Golden. That was kind of what really brought the love for snow biking in, in, in for me because living in a small mountain town is where you really get that understanding of understanding of the mountains, the snow, how people live and breathe it. There's some glaciers with ice caves in them that we get to and you know you're 100 kilometers from any town and in the middle of nowhere and they're so big and open in these ice caves that you can like put a pair of ice skates on and like skate through them. You know, not just riding around through the trees, but also like dropping big jumps, doing tr tricks as well, like freestyle motocross style tricks. This spring, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and ride across this lake, and yeah, I had a few practice goes, and I thought, oh yeah, this seems pretty good. So, yeah, we, we my friend Cody Matichuk and I, we, we both skimmed across this lake. In the last 10 years, that's all that snow bikes has kind of been around. Um, some of the innovators of the sport I actually ride with quite often, and um, it's amazing to sort of talk to them about where the sport's come from to where it is now. Even in the five years that I've been riding, like the sport has come a long way and it's definitely grown a lot more. There's a lot more people in the backcountry converting from uh, a sled to a snow bike. I think in uh, the next 10 years, you're gonna see it grow bigger and better. And as they get more power and sort of start catching up to sleds with the power, then that's be, gonna be a big difference. Around British Columbia, there's actually multiple rental companies who can rent out a bike to people who have motorcycle or dirt bike experience. And then for people who don't have experience, you can actually rent a guide and they, or a coach and they will take you up into the mountains, coach, coach you on how to ride the bike, and then take you to some amazing places with beautiful views. and. It's pretty rare to see someone come back without a smile after they spend the day in the mountains. Mm -hmm.